Today marks the first day of the Hampton University Grad School Summer Program for Nuclear Physics graduate students. That is a mouthful, so I'm just going to be calling it Nuclear Physics Boot Camp from now on. Uh, this is all taking place online. Usually it would be in person, but because it's still COVID-y outside, this stuff has to be virtual. I'm going into this pretty blind, which makes it all the more exciting. All I know about this program so far is that for the next couple of weeks, myself and a bunch of other graduate students are going to be attending a series of seminars and lectures on various topics in nuclear physics like QCD, the spatial imaging of the proton, virtual tours of Jefferson Lab experimental halls, and at the end of this we'll all be preparing poster presentations on our own research. Now this is my first conference thing that I'll be attending since, uh, since I started graduate school because COVID happened. And because of that, I'm not really sure what other people are doing in nuclear physics. To me, nuclear physics means generalized parton distributions and form factors of various currents. I don't know what other people are doing out there. So one of the things I'm really looking forward to doing is, is speaking with the other students to see what else is really out there. Now, I don't know if there's going to be homework, exams. I don't really even know the level at which this material is going to be pitched to us. You're going to be finding that out with me. But before we get into all of that, I need to do what's called the pre-hugs survey for 2021, where I just give them some information like my name, um, Andrew Dotson the uninteresting stuff, home institution, NMSU. Uh, so it's just asking information about what I do as, I guess, a researcher. So I am a theorist and where I'm at in my studies. Uh, how advanced am I in my studies? I have done my qualifying exam and I have one full year of research, yes. What advanced or otherwise hugs related courses have I taken beyond those required for the qualifiers? So I guess this isn't the standard quantum, this is after those first two quantum courses. I have taken quantum field theory, I've taken experimental nuclear physics, and I've taken a particle physics class. I've also taken general relativity, but that does not seem very Hugs related, so I guess I'll leave that out. Main books that I used for particle physics, why do I keep doing that? I used Bettini's book, and then for QFT, I used um, Van Ball's book. I don't remember what we used for the nuclear physics lab, so that'll have to do. What is my thesis topic or research area? So as a brief, uh, I guess, elevator pitch, I'm interested in how pressure is distributed inside of the nucleon, nucleon being the proton or neutron, and that is what we think characterized by the so-called D term, which is the form factor. So I'm just going to put extracting the D term in various models. Cool, now that that's done, let's go ahead and take a look at what's on the agenda for today. So this stuff is all in Eastern Time. I live in New Mexico, so subtract two hours. So we have an introduction at 7 a.m., then we have computing trends, so some computational stuff. I uh, don't really know what to expect for that. Intro to Jefferson Lab. I miss Jefferson Lab. Some nice breaks, which is good. An introduction to QCD. Fantastic. Now, I it's asking, this is for nuclear physics graduate students, so I suspect most people have some familiarity with quantum field theory. So I wouldn't be terribly surprised if it starts getting into, you know, the Lagrangian for QCD. Yeah, you would have to, right? The Lagrangian for QCD. Maybe talk about the generators of SU3, things like that. I, I really don't know what to expect, but that's pretty exciting. So we have a, a hugs thing coming up in just a few minutes now, I need to find out what platform, because this thing spans GatherTown, BlueJeans, Zoom, probably Facebook Message, all that stuff. So I need to find out where I'm supposed to go, but I'll see you at the introduction. Oh, welcome again to eHugs 2021. The hugs, as we have discussed, is a school made of many, many um, components. The main lectures are the, the say the workhorse of the school, but then we have also topical seminars, we have recitations. Uh, then we also have, since quite a few years now, the Physics Careers Workshop to let you know about careers that open up to you as you graduate and how to get there. There will be mock job interviews. And a, a very interesting, important thing are the student seminars and poster session in the last two and a half days of, of the school. 
to uh, let us know and let us all the group know the cool research that you're doing. And most important of all, I think, I hope that we will have a lot of fun and interaction. Okay, so that was the end of the introduction. So far, so good. Everyone's being really personable. Uh, it's not just, it's not awkward being in this virtual room with 80 people. Um, I've got about 10 minutes before the next talk starts, which is on computing trends in nuclear physics. No idea what to expect for that. My computing trends are importing NumPy and Matplotlib, so we'll have to see how that goes. I put up the parallel tracks. They don't make a one-to-one -one mapping. Software development, I say a little bit about, but, but definitely facilities, that's data center, clouds and containers. These are definitely the types of topics which are on the minds of those of us who do scientific computing. For the vir virtual chat that just happened, they did a survey, and Python is really becoming the, the most commonly used language in uh, you know, for analysis. So if you haven't taken a Python programming class, I, I highly recommend that you do that. Okay, that is two talks down, a couple more to go. That was really interesting. I enjoyed that more than I thought that I would. Uh, it was primarily on what goes on behind the scenes for these really complicated machines that we use and maybe take for granted when we just reserve time on to do certain computations that I'd rather not do on my laptop. So that was cool. A lot of good questions and then then there were my questions that were like, so do you like Python or do you like Fortran? So I probably could have asked better questions, but I'm going to move on from that. The next thing is going to be on an introduction to Jefferson Lab. So I suspect they're just going to talk about what kind of physics they're interested in, what experiments are being done. And then there's going to be a couple lectures on QCD a little bit later. Got a few minutes before that starts, so I'm going to grab some more coffee. Jefferson Lab is, is trying to understand both how the protons and neutrons are composed of quarks. What are the forces that bind those? How do they form the mass of the protons and neutrons? H how is that part happening? And then also the second part, how do these protons and neutrons really compose nuclei? Uh, at, in the reverse picture, how do the nuclei have an effect on the structure of the protons and neutrons? Well, that was an awesome lecture, the introduction to what JLab does. I I don't know what Dr. Keppel gets paid, but she needs to get a raise because she was fantastic. Uh, I think all of the lectures and, and seminars that are being uh, given for hugs will be available on YouTube at some point. So whenever they do post those, I'll be sure to leave links in the description. Um, so yeah, it was just awesome because she really walked you through the history of, of what people were trying and how the experiments got more and more elaborate. And that's the best way for me to understand things, is to figure out how you go from point A to point B. Don't just tell me that point B works. You know, so I have an hour break. It's not even 11 o'clock yet. And then I have two back-to-back -back lectures on QCD. QCD is quantum chromodynamics, by the way. It's the theory of the strong force. I kept throwing QCD out there. I should probably tell you what it stands for. So I have an hour break. I'll probably grab some lunch, maybe go for a walk or something. Just turn my brain off for a little bit. Ah yes, the lunch of champions. I think for this next lecture or the series on QCD, I'm actually gonna take notes and I <laughs> call me an overachiever, but I've already gotten started, so. Let's learn about some quarks and gluons and blorgons. Cool, cool, cool. So then because as you three, for the trace, trace list, you have eight degree, um, three by three, nine minus one, it's eight degree freedom. So you have uh, eight generators. So that was the first part of the QCD lectures. I mean, as you saw, that was a lot of information on those slides and there's a lot that I didn't show you. But the cool thing is, is that was very detailed, uh, but he did a good job highlighting the big picture stuff too. So I can always revisit the detailed stuff a little bit later. I think I might end the video here because I think you get the idea, even though I have part two of that QCD lecture in just a few minutes. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do individual videos for each day or not, so once this video is posted, let me know in the comments section if you'd like to see that, 
or if you'd like to see it span multiple days in one video and cut out some of the detail. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you did, and I'll see you guys there.